We have finally made it. Day 21 of the 21 day financial fast. Um, it's been a long journey, but I'm so happy that um, we went through it. I'm not even happy that it's over. I'm more or less more happy that we went through it. Uh, before we get started, I just want to quickly say thank you to uh, James Baker, Deb McMichael, and Karen Horsey. Uh, today, all three of them reached out to me and said, hey, uh, the fast is over. Aren't we supposed to be debriefing today? And um, we, we were definitely supposed to be doing that, but a couple things came up. Uh, we had multiple cancellations today at the church, which kind of, they happened last night, which kind of got me thinking that, you know, this weather was really going to be bad, so I didn't kind of want to promote uh, kind of bringing people over to the church tomorrow. And there were some things that came up uh, in my household today that kind of made it a challenge as well. Um, but thanks to those who, um, who was desiring to do that and anybody I missed, I'm um, sorry about that. And we will um, hopefully debrief as soon as possible. Well, day 21, uh, financial freedom. And some of you guys might hear that and say, yes, I'm free to go back and, and shop. Uh, how did I break my fast today? Uh, actually, the things I bought today, I needed to get a blue tie for my daughter. We're having a daddy-daughter dance, so I needed to get one of those. So that was probably like a need. And then there were some things I needed to get. But what was cool was I ran to the dollar store to grab them, which I normally don't do. Uh, so I went to the dollar store to grab two of the things that I think was neat. One of them was a shower curtain, and the other one was some things that I needed. And the thing that I know was a want, uh, was they there were some chocolate turtles, um, really good caramel and pecans and stuff, and I got those and I got like a dollar, so I went and grabbed those. So um, I broke my fast with some good chocolate. But again, day 21, we're the last day, uh, and the scripture for today is Matthew 6 and 21. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And the final day, financial faithfulness. The main point: if you really want to know what you value. Look at where you spend your money. And our pledge should be, I promise to find at least one other person to help grow through the 21-day financial fast. So we're hoping that maybe we can uh, find some other people that might be interested in doing it. <laughs> no time soon. Maybe we'll do that sometime next year. Uh, or maybe if we want to do it six months from now, we'll see. We'll see what the will of the people is. I just want to quickly read to you, read to you some testimonies that's in the final portion of the book, Day 21. Uh, this is from Mildred. Mildred says, this was the first fast of its kind for me. Some of us, uh, for some people, this may have been the first fast you ever did, period. But this was the first fast of its kind for me. And I am glad to have that experience. I came face to face with my vulnerabilities and identified room for greater fiscal discipline on the road to financial freedom. And I can say that this 21 day fast definitely helped me to come face to face with some vulnerabilities that I had as it relates to finances. So that was really cool. And this is from Bethany, who actually I had a chance to meet. Uh, Bethany said, my greatest challenge was to keep the overall commitment. Just knowing nobody was watching me spend, my personal integrity was consistently being challenged as it usually is living this Christian life. And when I read that, I said, that is so powerful. What this financial fast did was, you're right, the only person that was watching you spend or potentially want to spend was God. Nobody was, I wasn't there or anybody else that was on the fast was there. And so it was all about your personal integrity, being obedient to God. And that is so how the Christian walk is. All the things that God would have you to do the Christian walk, we have to do that when nobody's looking sometimes. And I thought that was so powerful. And she goes on to say, I used the daily scriptures to encourage me when I got weary. The scriptures served as a steady diet of faith building nuggets that encouraged me to see the fast through to the end. So again, we have reached the end of the 21 day financial fast. I'm so excited. I hope all of you who have been watching these videos have gotten something out of it. I thank you guys for over the 21 days, the support I got, um, the words of encouragement, the emails, um, the emails with suggestions about food, um, all of the things. This has been an incredible, incredible 21 days, and I hope you can say the same thing. Um, I pray that this will change your life. I know it's changed mine. Even today, I went over to Michael's to buy some stuff. I just forget, remember this. I went over to Michael's to buy some stuff for Cheyenne for her... Um, her um, project. She has a school project. And um, I was mindful to ask them if there were any coupons. And so we spent some time looking for some coupons and actually got 40% off. 
So I spend a 20, instead of spending $26, I ended up spending about $21. So I can already tell that this financial fast is making me more mindful of money. I would have never done that in the past. So again, uh, this 21-day financial fast has been awesome for me, and I hope it's also has been awesome for you guys. I'm signing off. You won't be getting any more videos, um, but hopefully this thing can take a life of its own in some way that God would intend it. We thank you and we love each and every one of you guys and um, let's get excited about what God has in store for us as a result of our obedience to this 21 day financial fast. God bless.